make-it-yourselfers and carnivores. Today I want to tell you about a little bit of an experiment that I did. For those of you who have been around the carnivore community for a while, you probably are familiar with the idea that there's several camps of thinking when it comes to eating fruit or not with a carnivore diet. There are doctors like Dr. Paul Saladino who tried the carnivore diet for a while without fruit and he says that he does much better when he incorporates it into his diet. And his way of thinking is that the fruit is the part of the plant that actually wants to be eaten and that the other parts are where the, the toxins are more concentrated. Fruit, things like honey, the plant wants you to eat fruit, doesn't want you to eat leaves and seeds and stems. Those have plant defense chemicals. These have far less. While that might be true, there are many plant toxins like the oxalates that I've had so many issues with. If you have something like a kiwi, there's a lot of oxalates around the seeds. There are ways that the plant is trying to protect itself, especially seeds, which is why nuts and seeds tend to have more concentrated plant toxins. Many fruits have seeds within them that can also have plant toxins. I'm going to show you some clips from my past self when I was recording as I was eating the fruit. At the time, I had to stop recording because I had to go pick up my son from school. And then that afternoon when I was going to finish recording, something came up and I never got around to it. But in the end, I think that's better because now that I haven't had fruit for a little bit over a week, I can attest to the fact that things have gone back to the way they were before I was eating the fruit. Have a listen to how I was feeling a couple of weeks ago, and now let me tell you how things have improved since I stopped eating the fruit. Now, as I told you in my last video, in my six month update, you can check that out right here, I was considering adding some fruit occasionally to my diet only if it was fruit from trees in our own yard. I wasn't going to go out and buy fruit, but I didn't want to let the fruit that we had at our house go to waste. Right now, we have in season these little guys. These are called loquats for those who aren't familiar with it. We have two trees, one that gives larger loquats and one that gives these smaller ones. This one came from a seed. This one was a grafted tree. These things are highly addicting. I didn't think that I was going to even want to be eating these because everything tastes overly sweet to me right now since I've been doing the carnivore diet for six months now. You know, even water sometimes tastes sweet to me, especially when I'm working out. But anything that has just a little bit of sweetness just tastes way too sweet to me. But somehow these little guys ended up being addicting still. And I would occasionally eat a couple of these and it was really hard for me to stop. So I would binge eat these loquats. And my husband was also eating them at the time. And the first time he tried them, he got a headache. And I'm gonna assume that it's just from the sugar. We're not used to having sugar anymore. Although he does occasionally have some, more than I do. Sometimes he'll add a little bit of honey to the carnivore custard that I make. So he's more used to having sugar than I am although really small amounts. I was actually fine. I, the first day I didn't eat very many, but then I started to eat more. But then there was a day that the only thing I ate in the morning was loquats. I was pruning the tree because it was giving us so many of these tiny, tiny fruits. And a lot of them just didn't look healthy. Plus our neighbor wants us to cut them a little bit because it cuts down on a little bit of her view of the Mediterranean. This tree is insanely large and it came from a seed. 
my mother-in-law gave me the plant when it was about this big and it just had a few roots and it had a few leaves on the top and I accidentally dropped it and it fell on the ground and half the roots broke off, all the soil fell off and the leaves were broken. I planted it in the ground anyways and it grew to be this massive tree. I actually have to get up on the garage to be able to prune it and to be able to cut the fruit down. So that morning I was pruning the loquat tree and I was eating them as I was pruning and I just kept eating one loquat after another after another after another and I was insanely hungry. <laughs> I haven't felt this hungry in so long and not only was I hungry and I wasn't stopping eating but I was getting hangry. I wanted fat. I wanted meat. <laughs> so we were going to go to my mother-in-law's house for lunch that day and I was having a really hard time holding on until we got our food. After that day I kept it more as a dessert although I do think that fruit is probably best eaten on its own but I wanted to limit the amount of fruit I would be eating and I figured after I was done eating I wouldn't be as hungry and I wouldn't binge on them. I was wrong. One day I had made some carnivore custard for the whole family and I was going to have them for dessert and I was so full I couldn't even eat the tiny little carnivore custard cup. I decided well I'll just eat a couple of loquats instead. Once I started, I just kept eating and eating, and I wasn't hungry. So that's one of the dangers I think that there is to eating fruit. Not only does it stimulate eating when you're not necessarily hungry, but it just, it affected my mood. It made me hungrier during the day. It definitely got me out of ketosis. You know, I've been checking my ketones and blood glucose. Although I was at the end of my cycle when I was eating these, that's one of the reasons I also decided to allow myself the fruit, just because I figured that it was the part of my cycle when progesterone is rising and that was the time to add in some carbs if I was going to add any. I figured after six months of being on carnivore, I should be pretty well fat adapted and I should be able to determine quite easily if I feel better or worse with the introduction of fruit. The first day I tried it, I didn't think things had changed that much. But over the last days, not only have I had the most difficult time sleeping. I wake up at 3, 4 a.m. every single night and I can't get back to sleep. I've only been sleeping for about four hours a day and I just don't feel as well during the day and of course it's probably because I haven't been sleeping but I don't know if it has to do with having eaten the fruit. I had been sleeping so well after starting the carnivore diet, my insomnia during the night has just coincidentally or no started up again now that I've introduced fruit again. Other things I've noticed is my weight definitely shot up. And this morning I was up to 151.6 pounds. For those of you who have been following me, you'll know that when I started the carnivore diet on September 28th last year, I weighed 144 pounds. And at first I started to lose weight immediately, but then I started going up. I have been fluctuating somewhere between 144 and 148 for several months now. But once I introduced fruit, I hit that 150 that I did not want to see. Other things to consider though is I have been incorporating heavy weight training for a little bit over a month now. 
So some of that weight gain could be muscle gain. I have been doing Caroline Gerben's Iron Series and I'm just about to finish it up. I have four more workouts to go. The Iron Series is a six week program and it's five days a week. The workouts are about 35 to 40 minutes each, including the cool down. And I've been pushing myself pretty hard. I've been increasing weight. I notice a lot of definition here that I hadn't seen in the past, especially right here <laughs> and this area and also my, my shoulders and just this area is a lot more defined. And so some of the weight gain could be due to muscle and bone. That said, the days that I had fruit, I would automatically go up a pound or two the day after. I have to admit that it was quite difficult for me at certain times. Once I had started eating the fruit, I was craving it again. I was craving more things actually. It wasn't just the fruit and I was eating more and I was hungry throughout the day. So for me, the added sugar or whatever it was about the fruit, not only did it give me more cravings back, but it made me hungrier and it just, it stimulated me to want to eat more often throughout the day, eat things that I haven't been craving in a long time. And although I didn't give in and eat any of those things, it was very frustrating in the way I felt. After that last night is when I decided I'm not eating any more fruit, this isn't worth it. I was handing them the loquats out to my neighbors. I was giving the ones that didn't look as good to my hands. As they were getting overly ripe, I gave the rest to my hands and they loved them and no complaints there. <laughs> Other than my sleep issues and my hunger issues, my skin just got worse. I started getting eczema on my ankle again and on my foot, and I got these little bumps in certain areas that, like on my toes, that I hadn't seen for a really long time now. So that was a bit frustrating too. And then acne. I actually had two or three really large, painful, cyst-like pimples that just showed up out of the blue while I was eating the fruit. And that was really frustrating for me too because my skin has been really very clear since I've been following the carnivore diet. And I'm a person who has been struggling with acne for forever since I can remember, you know, when I was about 12 years old. It's been great having really clear skin and not having to worry about trying to cover things up and just the pain of it. It just was very uncomfortable to have this cyst-like acne. Apart from my skin issues and my sleep issues and my hunger issues, the other thing that happened when I incorporated some fruit was, of course, weight gain. When I ate the fruit, I went up to 151.6 pounds. That day was the day that I hit my peak. I decided I was going to cut out fruit because I wanted to get some sleep again. And once I cut that out, the weight started to fall again. And this morning I was at 148.8 pounds. It still is up a little bit from when I started eating the fruit but I'm feeling much better. I don't feel bloated. I don't feel uncomfortable. And that's another thing to think about when you haven't been incorporating fiber into your diet. For me, it just, it made me feel more bloated. It made me feel just I, uncomfortable. I didn't want to wear the same sorts of things. I just wanted to wear everything nice and loose because I just, I felt uncomfortable. Do I think you should have fruit while you are doing the carnivore diet? Again, I think every person is different. I think every person needs to try things out for themselves. And for me, obviously, it did not 
go as well as I thought it might. I didn't think that it was going to cause me all of these issues. I thought that maybe I would gain a little bit of weight, but I didn't think that anything else bad would come from it. But I did find that I just, I was not feeling my best when I was incorporating fruit. And so basically, I had the complete opposite reaction as Dr. Paul Saladino. Uh, also consider that whether or not fruit works well for you can depend on your lifestyle. It can depend on where you live. There's so many factors that affect so many things. I have more fat in my body than Dr. Paul Saladino. I'm not surfing three hours a day like he is. And while I have been doing my Caroline Gervin workouts five days a week, and I have been active and I've been trying to get on the treadmill, so I'm not completely sedentary. I just, I don't think that my level of activity is probably as high as his. And I'm thinking about it right now, I'm not sure what his age is, but it could be that I'm also older than him. Maybe not. He looks great for whatever age he is, and I should look that up. But uh, with me being 48, uh, we'll be 49 this summer. I don't know. Um, age can be a big factor. It could be a factor that I am nearing the menopause years. And there's so many things that could affect whether or not fruit is good for you. And it could just be where he lives. You know, he lives in Costa Rica. I live in, on the Spanish Riviera here in Spain. While it's nice and sunny here, I probably don't have the same levels of sun. He has fruit always in season around him and just probably great vitamin D. And I don't know. All of these things could affect all of us. Who knows why it works so well for him and it just didn't seem to work very well at all for me. Does that mean I'm giving up on fruit? Well, we'll see. I have other fruit trees here at home. I probably will give things another try with another fruit especially when my blackberries and raspberries come in season. There's a lot less of those. I don't think that I can binge eat those in the same way as I could with loquats. Loquats are just very addictive. I have a really hard time starting with them and being able to stop. Whereas with some other fruits, I might not have that issue and they might not cause me the same problems. So we'll see. Uh, for now, I am avoiding fruit and I will wait until the next fruit comes in season and then we'll see if I decide to give it a shot or not and I will let you know. But I think everyone should try these experiments and see what works best for them. I think that's the only way we can tell and experiment and find out what works best for us. But just know that yes, Fruit can be a trigger, it can cause cravings, it can just affect many things within your body. So I do think that everybody should at least, if they're trying the carnivore diet, they should try it without fruit for at least 30 days. I would say that's the bare minimum. And just see how you feel if you eat it again, if you incorporate it. And then once again, if you feel better, once you eliminate it again. And that will give you a much better idea of how your body is reacting to whatever you ate. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love for you to subscribe and follow me along on my healing journey. And until next time.